Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. That's Miss AV behind me and Miss Dora. Oh, that sun is super bright. In front of me, we have Miss Dorothy here and something that we're gonna be working on in the back. Ah, let me get out that sun again. In the back. This is part two of third row seat in our Jeep. Let me, let me get it better. Hey, there we go. So a third row seat. This is part two. If you haven't seen part one, go check it out. That is the video that shows you all exactly how we made this. It does not, I do not have the measurements or anything out there, but I could provide those. So that might be something good to do. Anyways, let's go ahead and roll that intro and start putting this thing in the Jeep. So once you get your frame built, I know ours is sitting in here, but you can see those three spots. They all three had these clips, and in order to get them off, all you have to do is pry that up, get you a flathead screwdriver, and then just pop it up right there. And that gives you access to a T40 bolt. Those are all a Torx 40. So I've got one right here and I only removed the four corners because the middle ones will be fine to stay there. And now we can actually start putting our bigger bolts that are going to set our seat up higher in there and put these uh, clips back down inside of here. We'll put those back in place. Take this cover off though. And then we'll be able to bolt, start bolting the frame into the Jeep. All right, so with some help from Mama over there, we got these put in. Now to tell you guys what we have, this is a four and a half inch bolt that goes down into the same hole where our T40 bolts from the anchors came. And as you can see, we have the anchor still in there, a washer on top of that, and then a locking nut right there that helps with vibration. And since it's going to be in the car, vibra like, vibration is going to happen. So we'll make sure that these stay tight. So we're using those. And then we have these little rubber bushings. And we've got like 36 of them in this box here. So we just put two of those each. They're an inch tall. And they pass through the bolt perfectly and then up top you can see the bolt the washer a washer and another one of those locking nuts we're gonna sync that up on all four corners this one we've already finished so down here this nut is nice and tight this anchor is tight this part of the frame is tight everything's tight and looking good so now we're going to do that to all three corners and then this frame will be perfect it's going to be set it's going to be good now we we were curious about this one because it's a little flexible as you can see it's not a it's a straight piece it's not an angle iron like the rest of it however i tested it i sat on it and it held my weight and i weigh about 155 pounds so we're golden we're golden. I'll put even more weight on there once there's a chair and my butt gets in there. Let's get to that point. And there we go, folks. This thing is secure. Like, it's rocking the entire Jeep. I'm probably shaking you guys too, but just from pulling on that, shake the entire Jeep. That's rock solid, and I'm super happy with it. So, now that we got everything tightened down, let's go get that seat. All right, so here's our fancy chair, uh, best top chair. I'll put a link, seat. seat, chair, seat. I'll put a link in the description below. But what we're gonna do is right up front, there you guys can see the two points at where it will connect. 
and I will slide the seat onto those, which I can't see. So I'm gonna whoo, throw the chair at you. Oh, I get one, but not the other. There we go. So hopefully you guys can see that. Um, now can you get them a close-up of our little hairpin? And we're going to stick those... Cutter pins. Right through there. So we drilled a hole through these instead of using the C-clips because, well, these little cutter pins hair pins are super easy to put in and take out so when we want to take the chair out it's a breeze and it's easy safe. peasy lemon squeezy and now that the chair back here is locked down it's locked in place it's not going anywhere so before we put the seat belts on let me show you guys back here Stop. So there is the clip in the back that will release it. Just got to kind of squeeze that together and then it's in. I may unbolt these and scoot it over a little bit. But there's a view right there at the pin as well. And this is one of the most important parts. Like this is something that we made sure we could do which is does it fit with the tailgate shut and how about that i measured it so there's perfectly a, like i can slip my hand right in there with the seat down now with the seat up guess what it also shuts that is a pretty big deal because one you don't want to have to leave your seat up all the time. And two, you really don't want it breaking out your back window either. So, there we have it. A third row seat in our JL Jeep. A 2021 Jeep Wrangler Sport S. Now, we're going to put these seat belts in. These are super cool. So, let's get to that. Here we go. Bam! Seat belts all installed. So those are all hooked up, ready to go. Now we can shut Dorothy's back right up. Oh yeah. And look at how clean that is. Man, they should have done this from the factory. Seriously. Jeep, hit me up. Let me know. I'll work with y'all. We'll figure it out. We'll make this like a package deal kind of thing. Seriously though. Trevor at Arctic Vet dot com send me an email give me a call we'll get this in every jeep that's so cool guys i can't even it's real it's real the dream the dream is here we have a sweet jeep sweet jeep that is third row so not only do we got a cool jeep but it's got three rows and it's gonna save us some gas because Miss Dora over here, she likes to drink that gasoline. A little worse than Miss A.V. the Corvette. Explain that one to me, I don't know. I don't know guys. What I do know is that our third row install, it is complete. It took two videos, one of the frame and this one of the install which we showed you guys exactly how to put it in. Everything that we got, I'm going to put links in the description, so be sure to go check that out. And if you guys want that uh, frame dimensions, I'll, uh, I'll actually go post that in the other video about the frame because that might be pretty helpful and it makes a little more sense to post it there rather than here. So check the description for the link to that video if you need to go over there and check that out. Man, this is awesome. This is awesome. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit.
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. More mods coming soon. Click that red subscribe button. Don't forget to go to the family channel, Arctic Vet Family, and subscribe. Check out that mama eye roll. Do it again one more time. Oh! Is there a lily eye roll over there? Oh! <laughs> we'll catch you all in the next one. Have a blessed day. God bless y'all. Never give up, God is here with you. Yeah, you are a child, nothing but love is true. Just got it fixed in view. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ. He came to die.